Okay. Hello, anyone? If you can hear me. Hello. 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 How are you, Mister? I'm oh, good. Doing great. Hamad, right? Your name? Oh, yes, Hamad. How are you? Hello. Yes, I'm great. Thank yeah. you. You can hear me, right? Yes. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, we did not start. We did not start. Yet. So uh, I asked a question about why are we interested in taking the IELTS? Okay. So uh, do you have a reason for taking the IELTS, Ahmad? PhD. Allah. Wow, that's cool. MBA. Beautiful. Yes? Ahmad? Uh, I don't hear uh, the question. Yes, my question, uh, why do you want to take the IELTS exam? <laughs> uh, yes, I need the IELTS exam for uh, uh, mm -hmm. completing a uh, master's degree in the uh, uh, United Kingdom. Mm, that's beautiful. You want to you wanna pursue your higher education, right? Yes, exactly. That's good. And what score are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for uh, 6.5. 6.5, that's beautiful. Okay. Is it easy like, to get this score? Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's uh, not uh, difficult. It uh, needs it's practice. Difficult, and it's, yeah. it's easy. Uh, yeah, it's, ne like, it's neither difficult or, or nor piece of cake, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, well... Today, we're going to talk about reading as promised, you know, true, false, not given. But before that, I understand something that we are looking for a better score. And in order to do this, we need to uh, improve our reading skills, right? Yes. So in order like to improve your reading skills, you have to keep or to read, right? But we need to be exam-centered, and for that reason, we have to understand how to develop our skills. This is number one. Number two, to use techniques, okay? You know, uh, in the exam we have, like in the reading test, we have something called a game. I call it a game. You have time management in one hand and what synonyms on the other hand, okay? So we need to focus on both time management and synonyms, meaning, meaning, all right? So in the exam, we're not matching, we're not matching words in the reading test, like between the questions and answers or the passage that we have. We're matching meaning, okay? This is very, very important to understand about the exam. But generally speaking, yani, if we have any, any exam, <clears throat> any exam, <clears throat> sorry, if you have any exam, we have to look for the question or question types, right? What are the questions? How to answer them? How to crack the question? Yeah, th those are very important before we do or we set for the exam, okay? So in today's lesson, we're going to talk about first what's reading, and then we'll try to understand the question of a true, not, a true false, not given. And there's a special technique for you guys and in which I'm going to send it to you on the WhatsApp group. First, what do you know about the reading part? Anyone? Min hona bedros al you know IELTS? Yehki lna show reading exam. Participation. <laughs> yes. Anybody have any information about the exam itself, like the reading one? Yes, there are three parts. That's excellent parts passages that's really good okay so how many questions do i have to answer in the exam how many questions are there do 40 you know? questions 40 questions excellent okay about the distribution of questions how like the number okay well let's skip this part and go to here yes we have three texts or long passages and there are around 2500 words by the way all together like all of them okay most of the texts or the passages are taken from books, journals, magazines, you know, general English for passage one and two, three, they're going to be more academic, okay? So the questions that we talked about are multiple choices, match, matching headings, like matching, 
you know, this question is a bit difficult. We will talk about it in like another video or another class, okay? And we have two false now given, filling the blanks. Yes, this is like, oh, they're not only four. We have like separate, like different questions that we're going to include and discuss inshallah later, okay? But yes, we have three passages and we have 40 questions. And in order like to make it to seven, 6.5, you need to answer this limit or this number of questions in order like to make it to 6.5, all right? So going back to how to develop my reading skills, okay? Yes, in order like to um, improve in the reading part, you need like to vary your sources by reading, you know, like reading itself, like from websites, could be something related to the exam, will help your skills a lot in reading. And something you need to focus on, accelerate your reading speed. This is something very important in the exam. Is that clear? Yes? Yes. Yes, clear. So what should we do in order to improve our skills? First, yellow. <laughs> mm -hmm. First, what should we do? From the screen, vary your sources. How? Any idea? You know, reading is a great way to develop your reading skills, but you have to make it as effective as you can, okay? Here, we have like to read every day, okay? We have two websites that we can choose from and pick texts that you can read from, okay? Um, well, I'm gonna send this to the group. We have a WhatsApp group, so I'm gonna send it there in order like to get benefit from, okay? The websites that I chose are close, like in some way, somehow to the exam, okay? So try to read, learn about vocabulary, uh, practice, 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 okay? Is that clear? Roger that. <laughs> That's good. Okay, this is in general, like how, how you're going to improve. You know, reading is the key here, and the practice is also another key, like to improve your skills. Focus on reading speed. Focus on the vocabulary, synonyms are very important, okay? All right, okay. Here, I mentioned before, we have three parts, okay? But the distribution of the points that we have or the questions for the first part or passage number one, we have 13 questions. And the quest uh, passage number two, we also have 13 questions. For passage number three, we have 14. Okay, and the total number is 40, okay? We have to focus again, when we answer the questions for the reading part, we have something called keywords, synonym, and ability to locate an author. Well, let's talk about keywords here. What's the meaning of, like what do you understand of the word keywords? Yes, anybody? Like nouns, adjectives, verbs. Yes, nouns, adjectives, verbs could be the meaning that you know. Like we have a, a sentence or a statement, so a keyword is what carries the meaning. Okay. For example, what did you eat yesterday? What are the keywords here? What did you eat did, yesterday? Did, did eat yesterday? Yeah, eat and yesterday. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good. Yes. Keep it in mind, this example, okay? This will lead us to synonyms. What's the meaning of synonym? The word I can't uh, replace that, uh, in the passage or in the paragraph. Good, good, excellent. So two words, two words that have the same meaning, okay? So yes, we asked about what did you eat yesterday? And we said the keywords are eat and yesterday, okay? So when we when we say synonyms, it means that I have to look not for the food, neither or nor, what. Yesterday we have to find what synonyms to them, or we probably going to find synonyms for the words in the question and in the passage. So instead of food, I can find. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. Can you tell what? 
other words you can find for food? Um, hmm? It could be a kind of food, like a dish, right? Mm -hmm. Cuisine could be. Mm -hmm. okay. Cook, food, type of food, yes, could be mansaf. <laughs> تخيلت تلاقي المنصف بالايلتس؟ اوكي. Also, like yesterday, could be, could be the day before, could be Last any day. Yeah, you are, any date in the past. That's correct. This is how, like, reading is going to be like, this is how you're going to answer questions on the, uh, on the IELTS reading test, okay? You have to be focused, you have to concentra concentrate with what? Yes, synonyms, keywords, and ability to look at an answer. It means, like, it means a lot here. Okay, it's, it goes with logic. Yeah, if I find the answer, it will be easy to answer. Yes, I understand this. But ability to look at an answer while dealing with the aisles, with the passages, you will understand something about the place that you can find, okay? So it's going to be like out of experience to find it easier than with the practice than before, okay? So we have some other questions, another point here. Some other questions are like the answers you can find in order, like for example, true, false, not given, or filling the blanks, okay? So this will make the process easier for you, like to pass the exam will make it better and better and easier, okay? So keep this in mind when we try to answer the true, false, not given questions, okay? What you need actually here, you need to skim and scan. I also call it careful reading, okay? So let's talk about skim and scan. What do you understand about skim and scan? What's the meaning of that? What's skim? What is scan? Mm -hmm. Skim just looking uh, like uh, fast reading. Scan fast just reading. Uh, 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 scan mm -hmm. focusing on like. Uh, Mm -hmm. The main ideas. Main idea. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much, Marwa. Okay, so let's get like let's take this example. Okay, um, I just want to read the introduction in order like to know about the general idea in it. Okay, I read it fast, then I say this is skim or skimming. All right. When I go like read the question, for example, underlying the keywords and then trying to find the answer related to the keywords which is basically looking for specific information in the passage, this is called scam, okay? So scam is looking for general idea. Scam is looking for specific information, okay? Keep it in mind when you do like, when you answer questions regarding reading, okay? This is very, very important. What about careful reading? Okay, now we're mixing like mixing it, okay? We said the skimming, we said scanning, which is basically something like to read fast and looking for general idea. Well, how about careful reading? How can you apply this with skim and scan? Yes, I need a smart answer here. Yalla. <laughs> okay. Okay, careful, yeah, like, give it a try. Maybe careful reading, um, mm -hmm. like related to the uh, specific question, and I'm um, right. looking for the specific answer. So when you, whenever you find an answer, you read carefully, especially mm -hmm. for true, false, not given. Can you tell why? <laughs> because just one word in true or false, uh, exactly. not given, it changes the, the meaning. whole sentence. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Marwa. Thank you. Excellent. Because one word can change the meaning. So whenever I find the answer, I read carefully. I read carefully. Excellent. Okay. So how to prepare? Of course, after like you know, reading, you know, from passages to passages, from websites to websites, you can start like knowing about your strengths and weaknesses. Okay. This is very, very important. Like I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, you feel like <clears throat> you're doing pretty good in filling the blanks, okay? But when it comes to true, false, not given, you still have like bit confused about it so my recommendation is like to start like practicing for this question until you master it okay and then you move forward to to another one and so on so on okay then you have to focus your learning i always say like you have to be exam centered okay so you don't have to learn 
everything about English in order like to pass the exam. You could like, there are keys in order like to pass. You have uh, some, you know, shortcuts that you can use. Well, all of them will help you a lot in passing the exam. Okay, clear? So try to be exam focused or centered. So the third point here, practice skimming and skimming to find information. Well, it's not gonna work out for you from the first time when you like try to skim or scan. It's gonna be like, it's a practice, like it's a method that you have to practice, okay? So when you, like, when you start with the skimming and scanning, you might miss the meaning of the paragraph or the passage or whatever, okay? So it's gonna take a while until you get what a customer or familiar with the method, with the technique, in order like to use it in the exam, okay? So it's, it's a matter of a practice, and the more you practice, the more you get knowledge about the exam. Then we have build your vocabulary, especially academic phrases and synonyms. Synonyms, I think we understand now. And, you know, academic phrases, like, you know, you're, you're dealing with, you know, aisles, passages, difficult words, vocabulary. So you want to start, you know, having a notebook with you and you can use it whenever you practice. Okay. Keep reference or keep like, the not like, not like, no, sorry, notes in your notebook in order like to keep, like to go back to them and try to practice them three times at least per week, okay? Now, in order like to, what, to stick in your mind. Is that clear? Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Perfect, okay. Then we have practice the test and the time conditions. What does that mean? Yep. Like the same time, the same mm -hmm. condition of the exam. Same, yes, and the time condition. You do it like the same way you expect to do in the exam. One hour to answer 40 questions and you have three passages, right? Yeah. Nothing like different, okay? Some questions I receive about reading, is it gonna be a mistake if we like do spelling mistakes? Is it, am I going to be penalized for that? Okay, yes, okay. So you need to make sure that you spell correctly in the exam, okay? Deal? Spell what? Mm -hmm. Like when you copy. Still in one. when you copy. Oh, okay. 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 Right. okay. Yeah, it's not gonna be like forgettable. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Moving to true, false, not given. Okay. So, what kind of questions are we dealing with here? Okay. What do you understand about true, false, not given, guys? About facts. True, false, not given. Here. Any idea? Like about facts or opinion. Right, about facts and opinion. Okay, um, what's it true, what's false, and what's not given? It's a good so question to start with. Uh-huh. Like this statement is true, as uh -huh. it mentioned, uh, the same meaning mentioned in the paragraph. In the passage, false. that's correct. Mm -hmm. And the false, it's uh, not uh, the same meaning, not given it, <clears throat> didn't at all. Okay, that's a great. So whenever we have a statement, which is the question, let's assume, all right? And the information mentioned in the question or statement agrees with the passage, this is what? True. True. Right, okay. Uh, whenever the statement disagrees with what? With the information mentioned in the passage, this is what? False. False. Okay. And Akid, you know, like not given is not mentioned. Okay. But the idea is still there. This is like the problem that we're going to face in the exam. So the idea is mentioned, but the exact information is not. Okay. Am I right? Yeah, so it, yeah. that's hard to recognize between false and not given. That's why we have careful reading. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yes. So the technique of like careful reading, we apply on what? True or false, not given questions. Okay. All right. Mm. Let's start with the question with the questions. Like how to begin answering the questions of a true or false not given. Any idea? 
we should read the passage at the first. Mm -hmm. Reading the passage. Well, yes. I what think, do you think, guys? This, uh, we should start with the statement mm -hmm. and then um, mm -hmm. try to find like the paraphrase, the paraphrase of this okay. statement. Okay, the... okay. As uh, you said uh, at the first of uh, this uh, class, we should to, uh, to find the answer key. Mm -hmm. Key answers, yeah. Okay, what? Right. right. Okay. Well, what do you think, uh, Marwan? What do you think about, like, should we re start with the passage or the question? The question. The question. Okay. Why? Because we only have one hour to finish 40 questions. No time for, you know, like reading, then going back to the question. Sorry, then going to the questions, then, you know, going back to the passage is going to be like a lot of time. Okay. So we don't have time to waste. So basically, we're going to start with the question. That's correct. And then underline the keywords. Understanding the question is halfway to the answer, right? Do you agree, guys? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's halfway right. to the answer, okay? So reading the question is very, very interesting. And the good thing about it, that you will know where to look for in the passage, okay? And I'll give you like a very special technique to use to answer true, false, not given questions, okay? First, underline the keyword, understand the question, go back to the paragraph, okay? Going back to the paragraph here, you're going to skim, right? Knowing and scanning at the same time, like reading fast, pa, 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 trying to scan, finding the keywords, and then you will read carefully in order to answer the question. Cool? Yeah, good. Yes. Is it, is it good? Do you yes, understand? Good. Should I repeat that? Why do you <laughs> okay is it clear all right we're going to apply this by the way today all right okay yes so to sum up like just like to give you a like a quick you know um, revision read the question first and un underline key information okay then scan the text for keywords okay and now we have some examples that we're going to apply after the break i'm going to take like five minutes of break and then i'll come back all right. Would you like to take a break? <laughs> I love breaks. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you, guys. Five minutes, and I'll be back. Okay. It's going to be 24. Well, it's 30. Okay. Okay. Thank cool. you. Yeah.
You're ready, guys? Yes. Yes. Guys, how are you doing today? Good. Great. <laughs> yeah. Where do you live at? You're from Jordan? Istanbul. Istanbul. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. How's the weather out there? <laughs> oh, cold. It's cold, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I think this is like the coldest month in the year. Maybe, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. Beautiful. Try to watch the sun. I mean, uh, the snow. <laughs> cool. How's the class so far, guys? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up? Did you learn anything yeah, cool. today? Sure. Beautiful. Okay. That's good. Okay. Let's get started like with this, you know, short passage that we have here as a practice okay it's the life and work of mary curry so also we have three questions here they're all like two false time giving questions okay we, we need to try to answer the questions here okay so first you will start with the passage or questions questions questions, questions. okay so now read the question question number one I to underline the keyword. Do you have a notebook now or a piece of paper? If you don't, I can give you one. I have one here. <laughs> okay, so try to take notes like um, what's the keyword or what are the keywords in the question number one, two, and the three. And then I'll go here, go back here to the passage, and try to answer the questions. Okay. I'll give you like two minutes to um, take notes and let me know when you're done, okay? Start. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you done with the question number one? Uh, can I answer this question? Okay, yes, you can. Okay, I'll go back here. It's called back. All right, here. You will start from the beginning trying to, trying to find what the keywords. We're going to look for the keywords, okay? Okay. Here, and if you cannot, if you couldn't find it here, you would like find it in the second paragraph, okay? Yes, go ahead, start. Without reading, just like silently and tell me the answer. Is it like true, false, or not given? Okay, first one, false, oh no. I think it's true. You think it's true? Okay, good. All right. Any other answers? What do you think, guys? I think it is false. I think it's um, false. Yes, Marwa. <laughs> um, it's false. False. Okay. And we have. I'm not sure if it's like Allah or Allah. Okay, it's false. Okay. Yes. Well, um, why is it true? Why is it false? True, false. Okay. Can you tell me uh, why is it false, Marwa? Because, because it mentioned just one prize, uh, uh -huh. Nobel Prize, not oh, two. In which paragraph? One or two? Uh, the second, the second. Second, uh, okay. With her husband, she was awarded the 1903 Nobel Prize for Physics and was then sole winner. Oh. Uh -huh. Sole winner means? Single. One, right? Yeah. Going back to the question, joint is what means? Both. Okay, Together. so we have the opposite here as soul. Okay, so it has to be what? Joint. False. False. Yes. Right? Cool. 
Okay. Let's start with what? With question number two, okay? I'll give you time to take notes and then I'll go back to the passage, all right? Take one to two minutes and then we'll start. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the passage. So Mary became interested in science when she was a child. Okay, going back here. Let me just give you a, um, a technique or something you have to know. Like you found the answer here for question number one. So question number two should be where? Be the next. Third. No. Third bird. Exactly. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. What's the answer? Go ahead. Is it yeah, true? Yeah, true. Yeah, it's true. False? Not given. True. Not okay. given. Not given. It's, a, it's a true. Are you sure? Double check. Mm -hmm. Not given. Not given. Here we have a true. It's not given. Not given. Okay. Why is it not given? Because uh, he didn't say if uh, he was... She was a child when he interesting about science. Aha, uh -huh. that does make sense. What do you think, guys? What do you think, Mar Marwa? Okay, they mentioned uh, about uh, her childhood. Yeah, from childhood. So yes. she was remarkable of uh, prodigious, prodigious memory. Prodigious memory. But when she was sixteen. One called education. Right, but if we go back to the question, if you are now okay, science. 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 What do you think? Science as like is not mentioned, right? Yeah, right. Okay, so the answer not is given. not given. Good. Okay, so it's given. All right. Beautiful. Question number three. Take note again, and then we'll go back to the passage and try to find the answer. Uh, Mister, please. Mm -hmm. uh, should we know the the each the meaning of each word? No, you try, you have to understand the context, the meaning of the context. All right. I'm pretty sure that we can make it like we can understand attend, right? And able, okay? And financial contribution is also very important, okay? Financial, if we don't understand financial, we can say finance. You know, finance yes. is a very popular word, okay? Mm -hmm. And it has something to do with money, all right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Going back to the passage. Yeah. I think it is uh, true. It's a true. Okay. What do you think, guys? It's a true. 
true. That's correct. Yep, okay. So why is it correct? Or why is it true? That's correct. Good job. Okay. Can you tell? It's here, right? The beginning? The, the last uh, line. Okay. The most important one is... The most yes. In turn. Yes. In turn, later, help her to get an education, which is basically the same or agrees with the statement here. So it's what it's true. True. Excellent. Okay, let me just give you the first technique here. Like, other than the techniques we covered, if you have a bunch of questions, like, you know, like, uh, let's say five questions or three questions, we have one as true, one as not given, one as what? False. False. So at least you have one of each, okay? One of each, okay? So imagine or let's let's assume that we did not like answer this one, okay? And you just want to answer it, after, you know, like the techniques. You have the first one as false. You have the second one not given. So it has to be what? True. 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 Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's let's try something else, like an exam. Okay, which is like longer passage. Okay, it's a nutmeg or as like a story about nutmeg. Let's assume that we don't understand anything about this passage. If you if you've done it before. It's called a valuable spice. The spice, we all understand the spice, okay? Spicy, spice, yes. Okay, we have like three questions here. And we want to try the first question, okay? Question number five. Try to read it and take notes because we will start with the, with the question. I'm not going to read all the passage, right? So start with the question, underline the keywords. You have very special uh, unique, you know, um, keywords that you can't change. Like, for example, the Middle Ages, you can, something you can't change. Europeans, the same. Not me, the same. So go ahead, take notes, and I'll go back to the passage and try to answer it, okay? Yes. Yes, question number five, six, seven. Okay, and we will try to answer. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Done. Okay. You're ready. I'll go back to the passage now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. Okay, try. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Yeah. But but uh, but I didn't uh, uh, join the meeting from the beginning. Oh, uh, where, where can where can I uh, find uh, this uh... recording for this uh, class? Yes, uh, are you with us in uh, the WhatsApp group? Uh, yes. Okay, this is one place, and another one. Uh, this is the first time or... I join the WhatsApp group. Oh, cool! Interesting. All right. Well, and you can find it on the IELTS Key Group on Facebook. Yes. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, Egypt. Egypt, ice people. <laughs> cool. You are from, from Syria? No, Jordan. Jordan? Yeah. Nice people. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. 
Okay, uh, I'll make sure like to send it to the group inshallah tonight and to the other group on Facebook. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. بس معلش بس كنت عايز اعرف القطع دي انتوا بتتابعوا يعني هم بيتابعوا بيقراوها مثلا دلوقتي ولا بي اه احنا احنا اخذنا سؤال از ان اكزامبل اوكي تمام كويستن هو عباره هي كتاب بتتكلم على نوتميج نوتميج اللي هو جوست بي بالظبط اوكي اخذنا هذا السؤال از ان اكزامبل اند وي ونت لايك تراي تو فايند ذا انسر عشان اخذ حاطه تكنيك نوت لايك ان اوردر لايك تو لايك نوت ميك for you so basically in the last time you have questions mission number one two three and six seven obviously you have to finish with the paragraph the first you have to finish with the second okay so okay and, uh, yeah go ahead and try to find the answer did you like take any notes from here like from the question yes. okay perfect yes okay guys anyone could Find the answer? Not yet. Yeah? Yep. It's going to be in the second paragraph. The answer is false. The answer is false. Are you sure about it? <laughs> Just say pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> Yes. What do you think, guys? What do you think the answer is? Mm -hmm. Yes, Ella, false. That's good. Okay. Muhammad, can you tell us why is it false? And I will give my answer. Yes. Yes, uh, because they said that Arab were uh, exclusive importers of uh, spice to Europe. That uh -huh. means that uh, uh, they uh, know where is the uh, uh, mm -hmm. nutmeg or where oh. it is grown. What, what, what does exclusive mean? Um, expect, like... Expect. Yeah, like alone right in the context like alone right importers what does what does it mean mm -hmm. um like uh, the trade where the exactly the, the trade so only arabs throughout this period the arabs were the exclusive importers of the spice to europe not europe not in europe can you give them jazz all right so mm -hmm. So the yeah. answer is 100% false, okay? Anyway, let's talk about some techniques here. Our okay. technique, guys, we took what? Our technique. Mm -hmm. Word. Yes, to start with the question, keywords, right? And what? Scan, Go to scan, the no. exactly. Trying to find the answer as Like we took examples, like إحنا بلشنا نعمل search على موضوع the Middle Ages وبرضو على إيش Europe, okay? Which is basically something obvious, okay? Something clear from the passage that you can find and you can, you know, run with it, okay? طيب second one إنه you know, each question, like whenever we have two false not given, one of them at least will be true, one of them at least will be false, and one of them. Is not given. Not given. And the last technique I'm gonna like finish with the special. Okay. Um, whenever like you run out of time, exam, okay, the actual one, do the following. I call it plan B smart. Plan B smart. Okay, plan B smart, you don't have time, or you just want to save time for other questions. حطهم كلهم false. Deal? كلهم false? Uh, I have explanation for this if you want. You know, we're dealing with IELTS. IELTS is not going to give you, you know, a true a lot or, you know, like, because the exam is tricky, okay? So, false as number 
اعلى من ال not given will it drop اوكي 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 this is like the, an emergency one okay when i say plan b smart then um, i mean by saying that you have to use it in a smart way okay for example i don't want to like waste time on this question i just want to give it to other question in order like to gain more more you know points okay so i'll do this it's a smart way i tested it okay so i can get just one point so, from three uh, from three not do this technique but um in the exam in the actual, actual exam you expect it to have like more than three like between four and five No, yeah. no, I mean, I mean, in this question, I can get just one point from three. One point out of three, yeah. So, oh. Okay. So, try to use a smart, smart way in order like to save time for other questions. You, you get me, right? Okay. Okay. And instead, like, for example, filling the blanks, something we can't, you know, uh, answer randomly. Okay. So in order like to give it more time, I can get one point and seven points from there. I can make it eight out of ten, for example. Get it? Okay. Yeah. So you have to decide which, like, which questions should I spend more time with, and which questions I can skip if I need only, you know, um, let's say seven or seven point five, six point five. It would work. But if you're looking for above, you know, like let's seven point five and above, uh, you have to answer all the questions. <laughs> okay. Okay. Easy? Easy. Okay. I think that's it for today. How was the class anyway? <laughs> it was great. Thanks. Great. Doctor. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's great to solve <laughs> exam together. Right. Great. I appreciate it. It was like, it's really, I'm, I'm really happy, guys, to have you here. It's like really fun, you know, like talking to you. Yeah. Also hard, you know, first time, like we did not meet before and Etc. But I, I love it.